their dream vacations crushed and destination wedding ruined. How could this happen? Hundreds say they were scammed by a crooked travel agent. Dorothy Tucker shares their stories in this original report. It was an actual dream vacation we'd waited for for a long time. Punta Cana, that was the family vacation Rosemarie Murphy Gordon dreamed of when she paid travel agent Nicole Scott $3,080. They were to leave next month traveling with a group of 17 others who paid Scott $13,000. Didn't happen. That's really, it was really sad. The kids were extremely sad. I'm a bridesmaid for my friend's wedding in Puerto Vallarta. A destination wedding scheduled for June 26 that Christina Aguirre says Scott nearly ruined. It went from a great, you know, count 50 plus people attending Birth and Reynolds wedding to now a little under 20. The group, including the bride and groom, thought they'd booked flights in a five-star resort. After paying, Aguirre and others like Murphy Gordon had trouble reaching Scott. This is me uh, talking to Nicole, asking her what the guidelines for the trip were. No response from this email? No response. I kept calling her to see when would I be able to receive my itinerary. And when Scott returned phone calls, it was usually bad news. Hi, Christina, it's Nicole Scott calling you back about the trip to um, Puerto Vallarta. Um, there is a little hold up. Emails also reveal issues. Aguirre's bank statement shows she paid in full in mid-January. But this email on February 3rd from Scott tells Aguirre, you have not been charged, so no worries there. A frustrated Aguirre created a Facebook page. And just called it Victims of Nicole Scott's Sunbound Travels. Nearly 100 people shared horror stories like, we paid $4,100 for a Disney trip, or she took us for over $20,000. We probably have a list of well over 300 victims. More than 80 have filed complaints with the Chesterton police against Scott, who lives here in this small Indiana town. No one answered our knocks. We are finding out through some of our investigations that uh, on many occasions, clients would reserve a trip, provide a credit card number, and then that credit card number would be used to pay for somebody else's trip entirely different. One tour operator, Apple Vacations, also filed a police report stating Scott would falsify travel documents and says it suffered a loss in excess of $35,000. I'd like to see her prosecuted because she needs to understand the depth of what she's done, you know, the depth of uh, the loss for so many people. Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. By the way, Nicole Scott did not respond to any of our calls. The Indiana and Illinois attorneys general have also received complaints and are investigating Nicole Scott on accusations of fraud. Reputable travel agents say you should always get your receipt and your itinerary immediately after booking your trip. If you don't, that's a huge red flag.